Hey, another week another devlog from White Raven. In this video, you'll see me working only on map changes even though I've done more the past week. I really need to be better at recording myself. As you can see in the video, I made the city maps on Milmara smaller and also changed how they're connected to each other. The big map sizes are bad because of it might lag the game in the future, but also is quite tedious when you need to run around for quests. Since there's going to be a few planets, it is important to keep the maps on each planet small, but not too small. Enjoy the sped up workflow on me fixing the map sizes and the visuals with that. This is how the maps end up. I'll even walk into the new tavern and talk to the owner. Here I'm changing how the sewers are connected, since I changed how the maps are connected this needed to change as well. I might change how the connections to each maps are. Maybe make the sewer and undercity with pit stops where you can leave for certain parts in the city and smaller rooms where you can find certain NPCs. Enjoy the workflow. This is how the connection are right now. It is a bit tedious that you have to leave the sewer to select which direction you want to go. This is because the sewer maps are generated randomly, but I'm considering changing this. Instead, make the sewer maps permanent, like the normal city. The sewer would then be some kind of undercity. I could add the random sewer part just like the forest part in the upper city where enemies can be found. Right now, the player can face enemies at all times in the sewer, but if I change them to permanent maps the enemies would only appear on the random maps, which would start at the end of the permanent sewer maps. Would make the transportation easier for the player. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more devlog videos. Cheers yours truly White Raven.